Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create vertical split screen effect inside of with Film Express. Now, this effect is quite popular on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So let me show you how you can achieve this effect. If you don't want to create this effect entirely from scratch, then you can download the preset, import them inside that film, and you should see this uh, vertical split screen 3, 4, and 5 screens effect. The link will be in the description as always. You just download it and use it. But let me just show you how you can use this effect. I just have to import your clip onto the timeline. So let's just drag this in. And I'm just going to undo this as I don't want the audio. So I'm going to just hit Ctrl C. I'm going to hold the Alt key and just drag this video onto the timeline. So that way I'll only be able to drag in the video and not the audio. And once I have the video, then what I can do is I can search for an effect called crop and pan. Apply it onto the footage and expand the crop and pan and set the aspect ratio to custom. Expand this as well. And in here, you just have to change the height. Now, if you want the layout to have the three screens, then you have to change the height and set this to 640. So just type that in 640 over here. And if you now click away, then you should see something like this. Now go back to crop and pan and make sure you uncheck auto zoom. And you should get the correct crop over here. And yeah, then you just have to play, place this at the top like so. Now, if you want to move around the clip, as you can see, we have some footage at the top and at the bottom as well. And you can see that we have this bounding box. And that tells us that we have some clip left on the sides. And in order to use those clips, what we can do is we cannot use simply use the position over here. Instead, we have to use a spherical warp effect. Make sure you uh, make sure you, the spherical warp is before the crop and pan. And then you set the amount to zero. Right. So there is no warp going on. But then in the center, you can just move the top and to the bottom like so. And you can make sure that the wrap X and Y is set to no so that we don't have these mirrored edges around but yeah as you can see we can now move around the clip which is uh, what we want now let's just position this properly position this to the top like so right over here i'm going to set this to 640 and i can just bring in the second clip over here right and i can use the same effect over here i can copy this crop and pan and paste it on the second clip and can just click away and then we have the clip right in the middle let's bring in another clip i'm going to go to video size and set this to small and let's just bring in another clip over here and just paste the effect click away and you should see the clip in the middle now go to transform and just change the position like so i'm going to set this to negative 640. so there you go we have this three screen layout now, uh, if you want to do four screen layout, then you can just drag in another video over here. But what you have to do is you if you paste the effect, then if you go to the custom aspect ratio, we have height set to 640. If you click away that we don't have enough room to uh, add another clip over here. So that is why we have to change the height for four screens. So I'm going to set this to 480. And I'm going to basically be doing this on all of these crop and band effects. Set this to 480 on the height. Do the same thing over here as well. And on the last clip as well, I'm going to set this to 480. So now what you can do is just drag in the clip and just position it around. So I'm going to start at the bottom at the uh, clip, which is at the bottom and change its position more to the top. I'm going to set this to 720. The second last clip over here, and I'm going to set the position. Let's change that and put it around, uh, let's do 240 ish. So set this to 240. And the third clip over here, I'm going to set this to negative 240. All right, and the last clip, we will set this to negative 720 right so we have now the four screen layout and you gotta do the same thing if you want to have five screen layout just 
drag in another clip, put it at the top and apply the crop and pan effect and just make sure that the height is set to 384 like so and uh, if you're using the preset don't have to remember the numbers you can simply drag in this uh, preset split screen 5 put it at the clip and if you expand it then you should see that the height is already mentioned over there so you don't have to remember this yeah that is pretty much it that's how you can create this uh, split screen effect inside of hit film i hope this video was helpful and i hope this video will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one